You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. As far as the uh, the mock draft that we're talking about um, with Kuyper, his newest mock draft that's out, I got a minute here. He did have Jaden going number two overall to Washington. So Kuyper's got uh, Caleb Williams going one to the Bears, Jaden going two to the Commanders, and I think we're seeing this more and more. It was interesting last week to see a mock draft that had Jaden dropping down um, to round number eight in the draft to uh, to Atlanta. Hard to imagine that scenario with so many quarterback needy teams that even if the commanders decide to go Drake May two. If the Patriots don't go quarterback at three, uh, they either trade that pick or the Cardinals trade their pick at four, uh, you would assume. Um, but in any event, um, also surprising in, in this mock draft from Kuyper, he had uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. going four to the Cardinals, Roma Dunze six to the Giants, and then Malik Neighbors nine to the Bears, which would obviously pair Caleb Williams with his new franchise wide receiver. It's just really hard to imagine Malik falling to nine, but it depends on in what order these teams rate the receivers. If they have Marvin Harrison one, does a team value Malik or Roma Dunze more? That's really what it's it's going to come down to. Both are likely going to be top 10 picks. It's just a matter of when the team hands the card to the commissioner which receiver does that team specifically value? And then, you know, we had um, last hour, Josh Edwards was here with us from CBS Sports. And, I you know, I asked him, who, what LSU player is the most to gain, most to lose at the Combine? He said most to gain was Brian Thomas. And, and I kind of disagree. I think Brian Thomas has the most to lose. And I've explained this before. I think Brian Thomas is a first-rounder. Now, he goes to the Combine. He can solidify his first-round status. But if he doesn't perform well, he could drop out of round one. I don't think Brian Thomas is moving higher. Like, I don't think he's overtaking Roma Dunze or Malik Neighbors or Marvin Harrison. You know, I think he could, however, fall when you talk about guys like Keon Coleman and uh, Jalen Polk and other receivers in this draft who could leapfrog him. So, for what it's worth, Kuyper does have Thomas in round one, 28 to the Buffalo Bills. So, barely into round one, but still in round one. But again, needs to go solidify himself as a round one guy at the Combine. The guy who I think has the most to gain among the, the LSU Tigers, I, I think, is Mason Smith. If Mason Smith goes to the Combine, tests exceptionally well, interviews well, passes all of the medical, and can explain to teams, hey, here's why I didn't perform well coming off the knee, whatever the case was, maybe that alleviates a lot of teams' concerns and he moves up into a high day two pick. I think he's got a, a lot to gain. Um, because quite honestly, if you're outside of day two, it really doesn't matter where you're picked. It's it's more about the, the opportunity to go try to make a roster, play well, and get to your second time. So uh, we'll keep posting. Combine going on in Indy right now. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.